The New York Yankees start a 10 game road trip out on the West Coast in Oakland on Thursday night and they are riding a three game winning streak including a subway series sweep of the New York Mets with me from Oakland to talk some Bronx Bomber baseball's New York Post Yankees beat writer Dan Martin. Dan good to see you. How's it going. All right Dex how are you. I am well now the Yankees they're doing pretty well right now you know it was rough times for them before this little streak and they had lost 15 out of 19 games before the three game winning streak. So are the Yankees back to form or is it wait and see mode with this team. I think we're still kind of in wait and see mode. I, I would imagine the worst is over. Certainly no one saw that uh, bad streak coming but they've been mediocre for longer than that. Uh, so now they've got five or six weeks to get their their act together for the for the playoffs because uh, clearly what happened in the first half of the season uh, that was not sustainable uh, but I don't think anyone expected the slump that they went through uh, lately. Now the, those three games that you just mentioned the two against the Mets and the one game against Toronto when they beat Manoa who has handled them very well those are some really good signs. Aaron Boone talked about how much better the team played all around. They hit a little bit better. They feel a little, a little bit better. They pitched well. Um, so now the next test is coming out here out west where they play the A's and the Angels, both uh, struggling teams, but the Yankees have also had hard times on the West Coast no matter who they play. So, uh, you know, the next few few games are going to be another test, and we'll see if they can consist, uh, sustain what they did over the uh, three-game winning streak. So with that being said, Dan, as you talk about this trip now out to the West Coast, how important is this upcoming road trip with the two teams that play in the West and then Tampa Bay for them to keep the good vibes going here? I think, uh, well, very important, but not just to keep the good vibes going, but I mean, the, the Tampa Bay Rays are are closing in. They're seven and a half games back. Uh, they won eight of ten. So after the Yankees, like you said, after they get back from Anaheim, they go to Tampa Bay for three big games against the Rays. Uh, so, you know, they have a healthy lead right now, but that lead can can shrink while they're here against the A's, against the Angels if they don't play well. And certainly they're going to be tested against the Rays when they get to Tampa, uh, a team that's played them well. The Yankees don't tend to play well in Tampa Bay. So they've got a lot of challenges during this 10 game road trip, uh, which is going to really set up their September. Are they going to have a be able to set themselves up for uh, a good playoff run or are they going to have to? you know, look in the rearview mirror and see the Rays uh, closing on them. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see that. Now, during that month-long slide that we saw the Yankees not playing well, the fans were starting to question some of the new faces that were added uh, to the roster around the trade deadline, like Andrew Benatendi, Frankie Montas. So with the recent play of the team, are those moves starting to pay off? It certainly looks like it. Uh, you know, Montas pitched his best game uh, the other day against the Mets, five and two-thirds, two runs. Uh, you know, it was to be expected that he'd have a little bit of a transition period. Uh, he had dealt with some shoulder issues uh, when he was in Oakland before the trade that the Yankees knew about. Uh, and then he dealt with a, a death in the family that kind of uh, made his arrival in St. Louis uh, for his debut a little, uh, you know, not exactly ideal. Uh, so now he's settling into his routine. He's healthy. The Yankees think he's built up. So they're confident that they're going to get the Frankie Montas that they hoped for when they traded you know, a, a bunch of prospects for him and Lou Trevino. And now as for Benintendi, you know, he he got off to a, a slow start after his uh, arrival from Kansas City, but he's got a great track record. The Yankees and Aaron Boone especially kept talking about that, you know, his resume of success, his ability to make contact uh, that he's had throughout his career in Boston and Kansas City. And we've seen more of that in the last probably 10 days. Uh, as he said, he's settled in to his new surroundings in the Bronx, you know, even though he's got experience pitching, uh, playing in, in big series with, you know, in a big market like Boston, it's still different with the Yankees. And he's really settled into that uh, leadoff spot the last few games, a couple of doubles, a lot of runs scored. He's doing what the Yankees want him to do, kind of be a spark plug. So I would expect to see him at the top of the lineup um, for the foreseeable future, especially against right-handed pitching. If he can keep that up, the trade deadline looks a lot better, uh, even with, you know, you know, Jordan Montgomery pitching like Cy Young in St. Louis and Harrison Bader, uh, you know, still in a, in a walking boot, uh, at, you know, a, a few weeks at least uh, from being ready to contribute. Yeah, the Yankee fans will want to see how those guys can perform as they try to close things out as we head towards September. That is Dan Martin, New York Post Yankees beat writer. Dan, enjoy your time on the West Coast. Good to talk to you. Thanks, Dad. Good to see you.